60% of schools in the United States have some sort of strict dress code or uniform. Uniforms and dress codes are commonly featured in TV shows like Gilmore Girls and Gossip Girl. It seems that school administrators fear if they allow any creativity in a student's wardrobe that it will result in something like this. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you a couple of options that I think are great to wear to school because they're not only appropriate, but they also allow you to express yourself creatively. I think schools oftentimes use uniforms and dress codes that make students uncomfortable, meaning that they are uncomfortable to wear or they just make them feel nervous and like they aren't looking their best, or they just don't allow students to express their style and the way that they want to be perceived to people. So I thought these options are great, they're appropriate, and they're an awesome way for students to be able to express who they are through their clothing while also remaining appropriate in the school environment. So I hope you enjoy. This first outfit is for the more girly girl. She wants to dress her absolute best wherever she is, and since school days are fairly long, the key to a good outfit is comfort. For a spring day, a great pair of dark wash jeans is a great option, along with a pair of comfortable shoes. The second option is great if you prefer to wear pants to school and don't want an outfit that is a lot of work. A great pair of leggings that are good quality and are not too sheer are a great starter piece to any comfortable outfit. If it is chilly, then the sweater is the perfect companion. If not, you can always substitute the sweater for a shorter sleeve shirt. For shoes, a pair of Converse, boots, or flats can work depending on the weather. The third outfit is great for a more laid back type of style. It's also good if you are running late for school but still want to look presentable. It starts with another great pair of leggings and a quarter zip sweatshirt, which is a better option than a hoodie because it's a bit more presentable. You can also wear it with a pair of riding boots or bean boots to try and dress up the outfit a little bit. The final outfit is a romper, which is easy because it's a piece all in one like a dress, but it's also comfortable because it has shorts. It also is a better option than wearing jean shorts that can typically be overly tight or short. You can pair it with a jacket or a sweater to combat the amount of skin that you're showing, and accessorize it however you choose to make the plain romper a little bit more fun. I hope these outfits give you a bit of inspiration on what you can wear to school that allows you, be, you to be creative but also appropriate. I also hope this video encourages schools to look at the vast amount of options that are available instead of a strict uniform. 